for the next few years is to become the leading science high school in the Asia Pacific. Our mandate is to prepare students for STEM careers. So those who are high in aptitude in science and math, they need to be prepared and encouraged so that they will pursue with the purpose, of course, of nation building. There are a lot of science high schools in the country, you know. What sets us apart is first, we are able to get the top students. They have the aptitude for science and math, and they are passionate about it. Uh, a lot of them are gifted students, really. So the kind of, that kind of distinction really sets us apart. The other thing is that most of our teachers are specialists. We prefer taking in teachers who are specialized in their field, so they really know the content and they really try to do things experientially. This scholarship is not just for you to get ahead in life. It's for you to become the better version of yourself so you could help other Filipinos. Tinulungan po ako ng Pisay at DOST sa scholarship ko kasi pinakita nila sa akin yung kahalagahan talaga ng, ng math at sciences sa buhay ng tao. Pinili ko nga na magpisay para pag tumulong ako sa bansa natin, mas gusto ko na makatulong ng may specialization sa sciences. Nung elementary ako, nalaman ko about Philippine science. Sa news ka yata, sa news eh, parang merong na news na balita na Ah, dyan pala pumupunta yung mga mahilig sa science na students. So, uh, sinabi ko sa nanay ko na gusto ko mag-apply dyan. So, uh, I was an elementary student in Calibo, Pilot Elementary School. My mom was a teacher there and she asked me if I wanted to try it out. The biggest learning that I probably still can remember right now is duty for country. I was very appreciative of the fact that the government paid for my education. So I have to pay it forward. I have, I have to give back. You get to impart knowledge to the students. Because more so than actually teaching the lessons, you get to learn the skills, talaga. how to learn, talaga, how to cope with stuff. I feel it's important. So I like this part. Na talagang nakakatulong ka sa formation talaga as a person. Meron ako mga natutunan after ko graduate ng Pisay na it would have been helpful na natutunan ko during Pisay. Kasi minsan masyad nagpo-focus sa studies sa Pisay na nakakalimutan natin yung mga kailan matutunan sa para makasurvive sa life. So ayun yung medyo sinatry kong impart sa students ngayon. Isa sa mga pinaka-important lessons sa class ko is persistence na siguro kasi sa design process, magfe-fail ka talaga dyan eh. You're, you're gonna encounter uh, situations na parang hindi gumagana project mo, hindi mo na alam kung nagagawin. Pero you have to keep trying, you have to be persistent para maabot mo yung pinaka magandang solution. Uh, Nag-enjoy ako sa ano, mga exam. Ewan ko kung <laughs> ako lang, pero may mga exam kasi na challenging, tapos masaya pag nakukuha mo. Tapos, nag-aano din kami ng mga kaklase ko na parang pataasan kami ng score, ganyan. Uh, tapos, syempre, yung mga uh, extracurricular, so pag may fair, uh, pag may uh, sports fest, tapos mga uh, prom, syempre. Sometimes, it's not the intelligence that wins the day. Minsan, kailangan talagang yung grit na talagang pagpursigihan mo yan para ipush mong kahit mahirap na, hindi mo naiintindihan, tuloy lang. As advisors, we're asked to integrate yung mga values into our program. So, I try to uh, integrate sa mga homeroom sessions ko yung mga important values starting with integrity. So, hindi porke ginagawa ng ibang tao, tama na agad yun. Kailangan alam nila, meron silang sariling paninindigan na alam nila kung ano yung tama. Be respectful, yung paano makisama sa mga ibang tao, ganun yung mga natuturo sa kanila. Compared sa dati kong school, mas mataas yung standards ng Pisay. Hindi ganun ka limited yung potential, so there's more space for growth. Naka-adjust naman ako kagad. Eh. Kasi parang pinalaki akong maging independent and maging smart sa mga decisions. Masaya sa Pisay. Kasi 
kung sa school mo noon, uh, ikaw lang yung, or konti lang kayo na mahilig sa science, saka math, yung mga, uh, mga geeks. Pag hindi mo sa Pisay, uh, halos lahat kayo uh, mahilig. So, parang mahanap mo yung peer group mo, and then you motivate each other. And, um, syempre, mahirap yung mga classes. Na-appreciate ko doon at a very young age, high school pa lang, yung natuto talaga kami na mag-isip analytically and problem solving. Nung bago po kasi mag-pisay, nagtaaral lang po kasi ako sa public school sa Tondo, Manila. Kaya yung tingin ko po talaga sa pisay nun, parang puro nerds yung nandito, parang masyado matatalino na hindi ko kayang abutin, ganun. Isang araw, biglang tumawag yung Pisay sa amin na pwede akong mag-aral sa Pisay. Mas tumatag pa yung kagustuhan ko na tumulong sa mga kapwa kong Pilipino. Isa din sa mga project na sinimulan ko is, ay yung isang website na pinoyscientists.com. Doon sa website na yon makikita niyo yung mga profile ng mga Filipino scientists na iba-ibang ginagawa, iba-ibang field, may astronomy, may chemistry, may kumunakaaral ng geology, biology, actually napakadaming mga fields at kung saan-saan din silang nagtatrabaho, mayroong bata, may matanda, uh, iba-ibang backgrounds. Ang hope ko, intention ko dun sa website na yun is yung mga interested at yung mga sa science majors ngayon, makita nila kung ano yung mga pwede nilang career path na sundan. They can reach out to us scientists and we can help them, guide them on paano nga mag ituloy tuloy na maging uh, scientist. Last year, we have at least 65 students who went abroad and won awards. We joined the International uh, Math Olympiad and Kyle Dulay won the gold. That's the first uh, gold for the country for a long time. Then we have the International Junior Science Olympiad last December, where our students uh, won silver. And then we have this network of international science schools. It's a network where the members are all science high schools from Canada, from UK, from Japan, Korea, Australia, and so on. And then they have this science fair every year. And for two years in a row, uh, we've won the Best Project Presentation Award there. Even in some um, more advanced competition like math modeling, we were able to bring home the second uh, place. So we, we competed with the likes of John Monash Science High School, NUS, Science High School, Korea Science Academy, and we bested them in that uh, competition. As an attached agency of the OSC, we get a lot of support in terms of helping our students. We don't have the facilities that we need for some of their research. So what the students do, they bring it to the facilities of the OSD where their specimens can be tested. We have a science immersion and science internship program. So every summer, some of our students would, would go to different labs of the OST and be an apprentice there for two weeks. Uh, the mentoring of students come in play at, at that point. And then uh, for teacher development, we were able to get a grant from HRDP and the Balik Scientist program. So there were times that we hosted a Balik Scientist uh, and they would uh, mentor our teachers, conduct workshops, and sometimes we even extend this as an outreach to other schools. And then of course, the grant of a lot of funding. A lot of our students move on from here to college with a, with a scholarship from SEI. And some of our teachers were able to get their uh, graduate degrees because of the scholarship from HRDP, from the OST. So this kind of partnership, the OST has been very helpful in uh, building up the manpower in our school. Right now, with the new K-12, we're trying to build up uh, specialized labs. But we do have a fabrication lab where students can build a prototype. A few years back, we had the Samsung lab. It's a smart classroom that allows students to do their presentations well. 
My first priority would be getting into a good college and a university because that would be the start of my specialization. I'm gonna be an astrophysicist. And I'll continue with what I'm doing right now, studying as best as I could and being the best version of me that I can. Be it in discipline, in being independent, or being a good person to others, all in all. Maswerte nga nasa Philippine Science, and then later on, doon ang naging exposed sa mga scientists, physicists, or chemists, depende kung ano na yung specialization mo. Pero nabuo na lang yun na maging scientist and in particular physicist. And then later on nga na astrophysicist sa high school na and then college hanggang grad school. Pag graduate ko po ng Pisay, ang gusto pong kunin na course ay physics po. Ang gusto ko lang pong talagang mangyari ay makamit ko po yung gusto pong pagbabago para po sa bansa natin. Kaya po, pagbubutihin ko po para magawa po yun. Po, kung talaga pong gusto mong mag-science and technology, makakatulong po talaga na dito mag-aral kasi po yung mga equipments po dito. Saka po yung level po ng tinuturo dito, kung ikukumpara po sa ibang high schools, mas advanced po siya. Kasi po, hindi lang naman po puro aral yung ginagawa dito sa Pisay. I think one of the challenges is that we need to be consistent in our growth and yet be dynamic. And with science, there will always be changes. We expect that and we, we actually want that. It also provides growth. For the main campus, the challenge right now is we need to grow beyond our reputation as the best science high school in the Philippines. We want to be uh, more relevant in, in what we teach. I don't believe that I will be where I am right now if I did not graduate from Pisay. Without science and technology, Innovatronics will not be here. No, because we started very small, but we grew because we use science and technology as our basis for our new products. Malaki ang role ng science and technology sa nation building. Uh, kung isipin nyo ngayon, lahat halos ng industry, lahat ng ibsin, mga ginagamit natin sa pang-araw-araw ay hindi naman mahiwalay sa science at technology. They have to dream. Continue on dreaming. Uh, dream big more than anything else. Second is, you must understand that for your dreams to become reality, you have to work hard for it. 